what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on this device and why I'm doing the video again on the Evolution X well you will see this is the 13th July 2020 build of this ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro and here on top we have the same things like the Evolution X logo up there Android version is 10 of course and here we have the Evolution X version as 4.5 radiant as you can see and it says official of course the security patch is latest of July 5th, 2020. Here we have the stock kernel as perf G214 kernel. And the build maintainer is of course Johuab. And you can see the build date is 13 July 2020. So what has actually changed from the previous build on this ROM? Well, on the last build, there was a huge issue about heating. And that is totally fixed over here. I have never seen heating on this ROM. Even while fast charging, the device reached almost 36.5 degrees or 37 degrees. So yeah, the, even while 18 watt fast charging, it does not heat now. So I would say the heating problem has been totally fixed over here. You won't be having any problems regarding heating on this ROM at least. Now, some things that I have noticed on this ROM is pretty different on the battery settings. Let me show you. On top, of course, it shows the battery percentage, then the battery logo is there. And if you want to see the full usage, you can click here and see the full usage from like the apps. Over here and we have the thermal profiles of course you can set each app thermal profile and we have the battery saver smart charging etc is there but here is the most interesting part as you can see we have the screen on time and stuff and there we have the design battery capacity and it shows the battery capacity of course the 4000 mh and it says current battery capacity and i think 3878 is kind of like how much battery is left over there i think and we have the charge cycles so this is really cool we had to use some app for this kind of thing but here it shows the charging cycles so how many cycles you have completed like of the charging zero to hundred percent so that is really good that it shows the charging cycles over here pretty cool feature and of course we have the battery temperature on the bottom now let's talk about the battery life over here quickly i would say i have got pretty great battery life it was about eight to nine hours if you calculate that so as you can see from the screenshots i have got about 50 percent battery left over here and i have got about five and a half hours of screen on time so you can calculate that up to eight to nine hours maybe or maybe seven to eight hours of screen on time with like each charge cycle so yeah i would say the battery life has been totally great and the fast charging or the 18 watt fast charging over here does work fine and again it does not heat at all now everything almost is similar over here the stock camera is still miui camera and as you can see it like works super fine even while switching between lenses it works fine and the front camera and stuff is working fine we have the like light on the front camera working too so that is not a problem as you can see so yeah the front camera is working totally fine here in the front camera video section you can shoot up to I guess 1080p 30fps over here as you can see we have the 1080p 30fps or you can shoot up to 720p 30fps over here with the front camera and with rear camera we have up to 4k 60fps option of course and in terms of slow motion you can shoot up to 960fps slow mo and I have also installed google camera 7 and as you can see this is working totally fine if you want this google camera 7 this is a Unix version you can click on the card right there if you want to install this version and change the settings like me and i would say this has been working really great even with night sight and i tried some astrophotography here or some samples i uploaded to twitter and stuff if you guys haven't followed me on twitter and i would say the results has been amazing and with the astrophotography results i am just amazed with those kind of photos it's unbelievable what we can shoot on phones in 2020 so yeah this is pretty great this is coming out of a budget device almost like a budget flagship kind of device like performance with the camera and the google camera 7 is really great over here totally worth it now let me go into the settings and here in the display settings we have the same things like dc dimming and anti flicker mode and stuff is there double tap to wake and stuff is there and inside styles and wallpapers we have some themes you can customize it from here and let me show you there are some colors over here as you can see actually a lot of accent colors are still there as you are noticing here so no issues with the accent colors on this rom and we have some specific clock styles for the lock screen if you want to use it night light brightness level and dark theme and its stuff everything is working super fine here no issues with those but let me talk about some things in this rom that i do not like that would be the fingerprint scanner speed let me show you by unlocking from the always on display and this is how it looks like because i customized it from the evolver settings so yeah now let me unlock 
and as you can see did you see how much time it took to unlock let me show you again so now it unlocks it is not the fastest in my opinion but yes it, it does unlock but sometimes I have noticed it going like unreliable almost so that thing is there as you can see right now it, it opens I don't know why it opened Google Calendar let me go into the lock screen now and show you the unlocking speed again and as you can see so I would say the finger scanner speed is not bad but yes it is not the fastest that I have seen now let's try the finger scanner with the night light mode turned on and let me show you with the always on display night light turned on unlocked and with the always on display night light turned on from the left thumb unlocked now i'll try with the lock screen unlocked well it actually unlocked pretty fast over here okay now it unlocked so yeah the film with scanner speed is decent not bad at all but yes it is kind of slow and almost forgot to mention that this does have the face unlock and it does work super fine and it's pretty fast now let me show you the system panel over here we have the front camera sound effects you can disable it if you want to and the camera led is there in the gesture settings we have the system navigation gestures and if you go into the settings as you can see we have the gesture bar adjusting size so you can definitely adjust the size of this pill bar over here if you want to so yeah and you can do a lot of customizations still two and three button navigation is still there let me go back we have the system updater and you can check for updates from here and it just shows the like current build version over here now let me quickly talk about flashing stuff of this ROM. Well, you definitely need to format data if you're coming from MIUI and install Orange Fox Recovery, of course, like install with Orange Fox Recovery, I mean. So yep, I have used latest R10.1 underscore three Orange Fox Recovery. With that, I just wiped cache Dalvik system data because I was on a different custom ROM. So after that, I flashed the latest firmware, which is the 12.0.1 Indian Raphael in, in global firmware. And with that firmware, I flashed the ROM file, fcrypt disabler, and I rebooted. I flashed fcrypt disabler because my storage is decrypted. And inside sound settings, we of course have some settings like this volume steps option. You can change those and vibrate and haptic feedback is there. As you can see, you can have this in called vibration and stuff. Vibrate for calls is there. Ringtone vibration pattern and stuff. You can change that from here. Let me scroll down. We have the live caption mode here. You can enable that if you want to. Let me scroll down again. We have the audio panels. You can have the ring notification alarm or voice from here in this volume panel. If you want, let's assume Bluetooth volume over here all the time. So you can have that over here. And then we have the other sounds and vibration. As you can see, you can disable the sounds of charging vibration and touch sounds, screenshot sounds, etc. You can disable those. And we have the Mi Audio Dirac, of course. And from here, you can change it to Youth Edition or something. And the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is just amazing over here. No issues that I could find with the sound output on this ROM. Let me go back. We have the sound presets and you can choose between these many options. And then we have the Hi-Fi Audio Dirac. If you want to have really great audio output with the headphone jack, you can, if you have a really good headphone, like audio technica in 50x or something those will work pretty fine with this option and in terms of the quick settings panel we still have some stuff like fps info and the screen recorder this is still the oxygen OS kind of screen recorder where we still have the like bitrate and stuff then we have the resolution over here as you can see and then we have the number of frames you can choose from like 15 to 60 fps over here and we have the internal audio recording option or the microphone audio recording option and this fps info does appear and as you can see this is working totally fine over here it shows up right here so yep the fps info works flawlessly here no issues and you can add a bunch of more toggles if you want to as you can see there are plethora of options over here no compromises regarding this kind of quick toggles over here and of course you can trigger google assistant by just swiping up like this from the corners and it does work super fine as you can see in the evolver settings we have the like evolution x about section you can donate to the developers from here of course and inside themes we have the accent colors accent color picker then headline and body fonts plethora of fonts are there and you have the icon shapes then we have the status bar icons and stuff you can choose from here and quick setting tiles and stuff is there and i have been using this header image looks pretty dope in my opinion 
and you can adjust the blur alpha or the blurs over here when you pull down the quick settings panel there is kind of a blur behind this quick settings panel let me go back where the status bar and clock customization is there for the status bar then battery bar and the carrier level network traffic etc is there i have been using a different app for that this internet speed meter let me scroll up and we have the status bar icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icons we also have nfc if you have a global redmi k20 pro let me go back we have the privacy indicators and status bar logo and stuff is there you can have multiple logos like custom logos and view wi-fi says enabled and as you can see the view wi-fi icon too you can change over here for me right now the view wi-fi is not there for some reason and there is vaulty icons and as you can see plethora of vaulty icons are there so you won't be having any problems regarding these vaulty icons on this rom at least let me go back to the notifications we have the heads up disabling option and we have this pulse or edge lighting option and as you can see you can change the time for that and you can change a custom color from here so yeah pretty cool options and you can change it to the notification color or the system accent color so yeah and notification light and stuff is there then we have the battery charging light you can also have it in do not disturb mode let me go back we have the force close notification and stuff and notification vibration and stuff you can disable it blink for incoming call is there let me go back we have the quick settings panel here we have the vibrate on toggle touch quick pull down smart pull down etc and the brightness slider column and row number customization is still there let me go back and we have the power menu here we have the advanced reboot and stuff this is totally fine and in the power menu as you can see there is still the advanced reboot so you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot now inside gestures we have the swipe to screenshot this is the asus kind of screenshot and we have the long screenshot edit or share or delete option and we have the brightness control so you can adjust the brightness just like this pretty cool i would say and we have the screen of power button torch then status bar and lock screen double tap to sleep inside usb gestures we have these gestures again let me go back we have the lock screen settings and here we have the pocket detection and stuff and then we have the fingerprint icon and of course we have plethora of icons over here to choose from so this is what i like about Leo evolution x there are a lot of customizations everywhere and we have the like fingerprint animations you can choose from these many options a lot of fingerprint animations are there i have been using this blue fireworks so you can choose any of them they work super fine and we have the like fingerprint past effect and you can change these colors to anything and we have the charging info on the lock screen it does show up on the lock screen so that's not a problem and we have the status bar and stuff like showing up option on the lock screen and from this clock widget and stuff i have changed this like font and from here i have changed this to sammy accent color so that is the reason why the, my lock screen looks like this i think it's pretty cool here we have the date widget too and i have changed this to dark with accent borders you can do that to have that kind of sleek date widget let me go back we have the like charging animation this is the small animation which appears on the bottom of the lock screen and this looks fine you can change it to anything and media cover art and stuff is there let me scroll down we have the navigation option and we have the like enabling or disabling option if you are using two or three button navigation you can invert the layout too and we have some pressing action home or recents everything and age long swipe action is here and you can choose to anything like turn off screen or something you can do edge to edge swiping to turn off the screen if you're using the full screen gestures and in terms of the volume panel this is how it looks like and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here of course and you can expand the volume panel just like this and inside animations we have this disable transition mode if you want that and screen of animation is there you can choose it to crt or scale then scrolling cache is there and you can change the quick setting style animation like to flip or rotate and then we have the animation duration and stuff for the whole ui and let me go back we have the misc settings and from here if you go here we have the screenshot type and from here make sure to select this take full screenshot and extended screenshot otherwise you won't get the extended or asus kind of screenshot by default and wake up on charge is there you can disable it if you want to charging animation is there of course and we have the ambient display brightness again we can change it from here inside usb configuration you can change it to file transfer so that whenever you connect your usb cable to the pc it will go to the file manager mode and we have some more settings over here that is all customizations about this rom now let me quickly open some of the apps and show you guys the performance over here let's open facebook twitter now let's open play store instagram google home spotify youtube and amazon flipkart this wallpapers app now let's open chrome and all the apps from memory again 
and as you can see even i have opened a lot of apps over here and all the apps do stay in memory even though this is 6 gb ram unit so yep the ram management and app opening up speeds is pretty fine over here and as you can see it still is in memory all the things should be still in memory so yep i would say gotta give love to this picture so yeah a lot of like good things over here in this rom that like the stability and stuff is really great over here and here is the n2 and geekbench score of this rom and you can just guess the performance over here by that score of course the launcher is pixel launcher to the left we have this google's personalization window or the discover page and if you scroll down we have the quick settings panel of course swiping up gets you to the app drawer and widgets and stuff are working fine but this is a pixel launcher so not a lot of customizations like double tap to sleep anywhere is simply not there so you have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and that works super fine here so that's not a problem my finger scanner did not unlock for once the dlm info shows as level one over here as you can see so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p here and of course it still passes the safety net test so that means you can use banking apps right out of the box you do not even need magic hide or something to use banking apps like google pay or something so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now